What happened to Loki after rebuilding the multiverse? With the end of Agatha all along, the arrival of cosmic entities such as Death and Agatha the Ghost, the door is open to the arrival of a more magical and less technological fight. In the past, Marvel has been known for fighting robots, artificial intelligences, and mutants. But it seems that magic will now be a fundamental part of the stories, creating a group of cosmic Avengers to face Doctor Doom. In this video, we will be talking about what happened with Loki after his series, and his role in the upcoming battle, Secret Wars, as he could be in charge of recruiting the new Dark Avengers. Do you want to know what I mean? Then stay tuned to this video. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. Before starting this video, I invite you to participate in the new giveaway we will be having in this channel, where we will be giving away the first volume of Scarlet Witch by Steve Orlando, a story that will mark the future of the Marvel Universe. To participate, all you have to do is comment which is your favorite moment of the Marvel Universe. The winner will be announced on November 30th. First, we must establish which of all the Loki versions I'm talking about, because even within the Marvel shared universe itself, there are several versions of the God of Mischief. The version we are talking about is the Loki we saw in the Disney Plus series, and who in the end became a cosmic entity that protects the multiverse. This Loki never lost his life at the hands of Thanos, but managed to sacrifice himself for the multiverse. Loki's ending left many people really wondering what happened to this character. As we saw him from a throne touching several timelines, it would seem that Loki now has the powers of a god, however, this final shot could be somewhat symbolic. To understand what I mean, we must go back to the end of this series. Ah! Stop. Stop. Loki had gained the ability to time travel and traveled all the way to his confrontation with He Who Remains, where he learned that he was always destined for this confrontation and purpose. However, at the end of the story, Loki destroys the artifact that kept the sacred timeline under control, and he himself began to control the timelines. I think what this scene refers to is not that Loki literally sits with his hands outstretched all the time. I think what this image refers to is that Loki is now a sort of cosmic entity that travels between timelines, correcting different problems to prevent the collapse of reality. Now reality itself depends on Loki. Perhaps the ending of the series is not so literal, but somewhat more metaphorical. Now what does this interpretation have to do with Agatha and everything that is happening with magic in the Marvel Universe? In the ending of Agatha all along, we could see how death came looking for Billy. Death is an entity that seeks balance. He is an abomination. He is disrupting the sacred balance. And it is the first of many fundamental entities in the universe that we will see in the future. Just as the entity of death exists to maintain balance elsewhere in existence, Loki is keeping the flow of time in order. It is possible that Rio or death, like Loki, was once a person who became this cosmic entity now seeking balance by retrieving the souls of lost people. Even death might have some connection to the magic of chaos and the upcoming war. Perhaps we should not see death as such a magical character. Perhaps like Loki, she too sacrificed herself to save her universe. But then, how could Loki return? Just as Billy Maximoff's existence was what caught death's attention, as an imbalance was occurring in the cosmos, Something would have to happen through time to get the attention of this cosmic version of Loki. And I think the answer is obvious. Doctor Doom. I believe that when Doom begins to destroy part of the multiverse, it will be at that point that the cosmic Loki, or the new He Who Remains, will realize that he needs help and will create a new version of the Avengers. Ones who are willing to do whatever it takes in order to defeat Doctor Doom. In previous videos, we have mentioned how the Disney Plus series and movies are slowly introducing the new generation of Avengers, some of whom are often antagonistic in nature, like Wiccan who stole his body to come back to life, 
or even Agatha, who is now a ghost, and will surely be looking for a new body. I think the new Avengers, those that Loki will choose to take on Doctor Doom, could include the Wiccan we saw in the Agatha series alongside Agatha, the Vision we will see in the Vision Quest series, the Deadpool and Wolverine we saw in the last Deadpool movie, and other characters who also lost their way in their story and became villains such as Wanda Maximoff. However, these characters will return to be heroes once again to save the multiverse under the leadership of Loki. Or at least this is one of the theories. I think the next Avengers will be those who failed their universes, but will have to vindicate themselves. In the comics, an event occurs in which different universes clash, while Doctor Doom tries to save his own universe and increase his power. This event is known as Secret Wars, and it's where the future of Marvel is headed. I believe that Avengers from different universes will have to unite to face the greatest threat that existence has ever faced. Yes, just like in the comics, Doctor Doom is trying to destroy other realities. And that would lead to this cosmic Loki attempting to interfere. I don't think he would just stand by as a bystander while there is a person destroying the balance of existence itself. Now, this version of Loki could team up with the new Avengers or even his own brother to defeat Doom. It's a very different Loki, a heroic version of what the Loki who lost his life in Endgame could have become. And I think it's a person Thor needs to meet. It's a mature Loki who understands the importance of his family and who has lost everything to maintain everyone's existence. The reunion of a Thor with near cosmic power with his brother, who is now the god of time, could be what it takes to defeat Doctor Doom. So when could we see this version of Loki back? I think it's possible that we might see him in a cameo in one of the next movies, such as the upcoming Captain America movie, A Brave New World, with this Loki being the one to start recruiting the new Avengers. This would be something that would point to a really big danger approaching. The Captain America movie could show us at the end how Loki becomes aware of some incursions into universes and how he needs Avengers powerful enough to help him. Maybe Loki could be a new Nick Fury who came out at the end of all the movies recruiting the new Avengers. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Do you think Loki will come back to face Doctor Doom? Will he be the one to warn that something is happening in the multiverse that will endanger the Avengers universe? Share your opinion in the comments. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Oasis Geek.